You talking shit? If this is like in any way not centered, I'm going to end myself. Hey look, remember that whole weird tutorial thing where we like did that? Yeah, now we're gonna make it like... Now we're gonna make it real. Or we're gonna take this and make it into that. Yeah. Stay over there. Also, I figure that we should start with things that you need. Um, obviously, you should have your sketch reference. And I hope my parents don't think I'm crazy when I'm talking to myself like this. Some paper so you can put your templates, foam pieces onto. And hot glue gun, of course, with glue sticks. Scissors. That That's it. And some foam. What kind of foam, you ask? Um, this is upholstery foam. I got it off of Amazon for $10 a yard, I think. I don't know if it went up or down. What you'll need is half an inch with one inch and just like a chunk of two inch. Whatever, you can use whatever you want. You use six, six inch for the base, I don't care. So. Oh yeah, I would have made this earlier, as you can tell, my hair. I took a shower, because I went to go to the gym, worked out for like an hour, and I came back, and then, ooh, surprise. My boyfriend just came with this game, like, he's like, hey, happy birthday. By the way, I love this game a lot. Here's George. If anyone is really old with my channel and has seen my um, now deleted videos, you would know that this guy's name is George. And you're just gonna... In reality, you should measure the circumference from here to here directly in the back of the skull, not from the nape of the neck, but from the back and from the nose. So that should be your circumference point. When you measure the length of your head, you want the length. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. So it only fits this part is what we're cutting out, and after that we'll be working on the dome piece. This needs to be round, guaranteed. No way to go around it. You have to make this part a dome. A lot of people just literally make it a bucket, and it, this part is just flat. And they extend past these points, and it's just straight bucket. Don't do that. Anyway. So you're going to measure from right here to your forehead, which is right here in the middle, like right between your eyebrows. From here all the way down to your chin. And that will be the length you will be putting on to here, which I, I need to measure real quickly because <laughs> this needs to be pretty accurate because it's for me that much. Look, almost perfect. I'm just going to extend it a little bit. It's better to have too much than not enough, that's what I say. Also, you are going to take the circumference of your head and lay it out. So, from the back of my head all the way around from my nose. I'd say that's 23 inches, that's pretty average for me. I got a small head and I'm also, of course, going to put an extra inch on that because like I said, Better to have too much. Connect these two lines and cut it out. My hot glue gun should be almost ready. It's it's getting there. We glue this together and then I will be cutting out a curve right here, like a half circle. So it's easier to put this on and it's easy to like slip in and out of and it won't look weird from the back when you start furring everything. My fur, it's 
I chose to actually order minky type fabric this time because I've heard some makers use mink on the face or paws and even on their suits sometimes. Not the entire thing, but just like small details like the belly or wherever there's smooth, short pile fur. It's just easier, I heard it's way easier than regular fur and shaving it down to the details. I hope it looks better than fur because, I don't know, you know, we'll see. I mean, it's my head. I could always just make it and then if I don't like it, I'll make a video of me burning it. I promise. <laughs> if I don't like something and I made it, I, I don't care about it anymore, so. Of course, everyone's gonna be saying, I wish I can get a fursuit, but oh, here you are, burning them, being so unappreciative. Like, girl, I made it. You know, you can make your own too, but if you don't like it, you can burn it if you want. I ain't gonna like sit there and bitch at you. What am I doing? I'm arguing with myself. I need to turn the fan on. I'm getting hot. Okay, so this is glued together. To be honest, I would suggest buying upholstery foam glue for this process. I don't recommend um, any sort of glue other than hot glue when you glue on to the faces where there's ventilation because you don't want to be breathing in any sort of toxic fumes. But of course I would recommend it on the back because that's not going to go into you know your body, you're not going to be able to breathe it in. It's too far away. Put this on your head. You're gonna start measuring out. Alright, so I screwed up with the eye part. That's okay. That's fine. You could do that later. When you get to the tops right here, you will have to cut off some to make it round. But not not yet. Okay, so right here the chin starts to go upward and right here is the ear. The chin starts to go upward. And you will want to cut right where the nape of the neck wants to start, which is, you can't really see, but this much. And you're going to mark where the, um, right before your ear, I guess, where the jawbone hinge would go. You're going to mark right there and keep going down. That's just like a middle mark right here. And you're just going to keep cutting all the way down to the half circle is completely smooth. So, um, flatten this. This should be marking where the ear is. Where is my sharpie? There it is. Mark this. Fold this this way and make that symmetrical match up. And of course, flatten it this way again. This is the nape of the neck. You will be cutting here and now drawing a half circle from there to there and just cut it off. You don't need it. No one cares about it. Or, you know, keep it and use it later. It might be useful. There you go. Now, see how, like, it's sharp right here? You can start smoothing it out. See, now it will be able to fit smoothly and it won't struggle. Now to the top part of the head. This is where people will get lazy and just put a solid circle right here and they think that's okay but that's not okay. So you're going to push this against the head. You can use upholstery pins. Um, you don't have to. Upholstery pins are, they're like sewing pins but very strong. They are meant for making furniture, but we're going to use it. Right here is where everything will start to come together and curve. So you take your sharpie, you're going to mark where the very corner is, which is right here. And you're going to mark where these two edges meet. So there you go, there's a triangle. And you're going to curve them in like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember it's in there. 
It's okay. If we mess up, it's fine. Yeah, so I totally messed up with the eye placements, but it's okay. Whatever, we'll just redo it. Now you're gonna take these and you're going to glue it together. If it's still like puffing up, you can cut it a little bit more. Now, this part is very painful, so you're gonna wanna be careful. I always burn my fingers at this part. See, the glue wants to come out and greet you, like, hi, like that. Mmm, feels great. If your foam is not fully secured or you don't really trust it, you can get felt, a thin fabric that's not stretchy, and glue it over. But you have to make sure that it can still be easily cut. Alright, so you have your pieces glued out. So with the doming process, like I said, this could be useful later, and it is. So you just slip this back on here. If it's not perfectly sticking to the sides, it's, it's okay. It, it gives it character. You're going to put one band over here and another band this way. So these will come in handy later. Get your phone. Just cut a rectangle out of it. It doesn't matter. Just a chunk. This is going to be your band. This is going to be going across here. Glue those pieces and then the two pieces I cut out from here will be going across like this and you just fill in the blanks. Simple. 